In the capital region, people of Ukrainian descent were observing that nation's independence. This year, as Lynn Falsetti reports, the observance came with uncertainty. Sunday marks Ukraine's 23rd anniversary of their renewed independence. But this year, local Ukrainian groups say it's bittersweet and they're praying for peace. Ukraine is in the midst of invasion. Uh, we're fighting for our independence as we speak. Um, so we gathered here today uh, not only to uh, commemorate our 23rd birthday, so to speak, but also to pray for all those people who have been killed, including the flight M17. This time we celebrate with a little sadness and fear and, and hope, and, uh, but, you know, it is still a celebration and it means to a lot of us. St. Nicholas Ukrainian Catholic Church in Watervliet used the day to raise awareness. For Father Michael Mashuk, it's personal. He tells us his brothers and sisters live in the Ukraine and he just learned his brother will be drafted this week. The moment you read the news, you know, and you started to interpret this in your, in your head and it's, it's not easy, let's put it that way. 2,000 Ukrainians have died uh, since hostilities began. Uh, there have been over 10,000 wounded, uh, hundreds of thousands are homeless. It doesn't suit anyone to continue uh, with war. War is, is evil on all sides. So we're going to be praying because that's our best weapon at this point. So the Ukraine Congress Committee of the Capital District is raising money to buy first aid kits to send to soldiers. They say they can purchase one of these for $100. Lieutenant Colonel Ihor Zero was an honorary guest. While he wasn't able to speak to the media on camera, he did talk about the importance of the first aid kits for troops in battle. If we purchase a kit here, it'll be in the battlefield in four days. The group tells us they've already raised $3,000 towards the first aid kits here locally. They hope to raise even more than that, and they're hoping you can help them. We have a link to where you can donate on our website at CBS6Albany.com. In Waterville, Lynn Falsetti, CBS6 News.